So my, my, na my name is Anthony Ngure. I'm an ambassador of Environment 254. So Environment 254 is simply an open community platform for game changers in the social and environmental arena. So here where we are, this one is the University of Nairobi. We thank we we are grateful for the for the School of Environment for hosting us here for us to have this art and environment exhibition. So this one th this one is our fifth university that we have been to and like what you can see this one is our art and environment exhibition. So the, 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 the objective for this art and environment exhibition is simply to create works of environmental art, to invoke the spirit of environmental, environmental consciousness and also to launch the, the Eco Challenge. The University of Nairobi Geography Students Society have organized an art and environment exhibit which is the fifth one consecutively and the whole emphasis is on art which portrays the environment. Here the environment is playing the key role. I am an environmentalist. I am passionate about making change in my community. That's why I focus on doing environmental stuff and I'm very happy to be here today because these are youth who have the same goal with me and I'm very excited to be working with them. So the event is very nice. There is a lot of um, talent around. Various artists have displayed their works and I must say that they are very creative and they are very talented. And we're here to do an exhibition of the art and environment under E254. And uh, the turn up is very good. I mean, we are change invented people and we are here to just basically show you what is happening in the world and how we can implement the change. Instead of just talking about it, let's just implement the change and actually do something about it. So I'm here courtesy of Environment 254 coming to commemorate art in the event of art and environment and we believe that through art we're able to speak through a wider range of message and capture a lot of people including the young and the old and cut across people of whatever age and they're able to speak art is able to speak dense more information than the way you'd explain to someone Actually, what brought me here initially was art. It wasn't about environment, but then later on, when I got the details about all about what what it means to be to be part of an environmental an environmental uh, program or activity, then of course it, it prompted me to actually stay and enjoy the music, the arts, and the people here. Actually, they're the very talented people here and enthusiastic people who are passionate about environment. So that. That's why I'm here. This one is simply an art piece by the name of Demolution. So in this art piece, we are trying to link two things. There is a, there, there is a relationship between our food system and the environment. Like you can see from this art piece, you can see there is a pot. And also under, there is a tree that has been cut. From the pot, you can also see the cover. I mean, the, the sides of the pot simply represent an area that is dry because of the cracks that are within the pot. So that one is the concept. And also, like I said, this one is an art piece that is explaining the relationship between our food system and also environment. So, by, by, by doing, by linking the art with the environment, those guys who have no a clear idea of writing or reading scripts or who have no time to buy uh, environmental scripts will, will see the art and get to link it direct to the environment. And through our beautiful art pieces, we show how Mother Earth is so unique and beautiful with all types of biodiversity on it. Yet, we also portray the image of the reality on Mother Earth, the destruction, the forest fires, deforestation, pollution, 
And yet, we all know it is reality. But when it is put up as an art piece, people really focus and rethink, is the strategy we are using right? And it gives us a room to think and apply that in the future, the need is sustainable development. And that is what our students, the UNGSS, is portraying. Through art, we protect the environment. And we just don't want to live it.